Hello, everybody. It is I, Grant Wright, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our type challenge of Rock Type. We are on our way towards the seventh gem, uh, but this is a lot of the plot section of the game. Uh, fight a lot of the bad guys. So we are just going to be moving forward uh, through some trainers here, leveling up where we can. We're actually going to get our our one and only evolution in this episode, too. We are going to get uh, Slugma and Macargo finally in this episode. So that's exciting. Lodestone taking out some boids. Double battles. Ooh, there's two of them. Very nice. Let's okay. Let's get nose pass up. I think. Let's do Onyx actually for the first one. We'll do Onyx for the first one. Yeah. And then we'll do nose pass for the second one. Alright, what do we got? We got a main metric and a cast form. That cast form's gonna turn to water type because of the rain. Alright, so let's dig there and then let's safeguard. No paralysis. Oh, used water poles, but it missed. So that's good. Trying to quick attack the guy on the ground. Almost got it. Not quite though. Okay, so safeguard doesn't protect from from Pokemon power? Like, what's the point of using safeguard then? There goes Lodestone. Gone. That's anno- That is really annoying. He uses the Hyper Potion on main metric. At least the, everybody else has really good special defense. Thunder, like straight up thunder in the rain. I mean, it's a good move, but I, I, I'm surprised it knows thunder at this point. Wow. We're getting decked. Doesn't bode very well for us for the water gems coming up and the, you know, champion being a water type. 
All right, we're gonna run back and heal. Absol. Alright, it is raining, but we're not messing around. We're getting rid of this rain. Chuckle can take a dig easy from the Nikita. It is super effective, whatever type it is. deal. We're just gonna take down this, these fighting Pokemon really quick. And then we'll focus on the other. Very nice. Oh, goodbye, Shuckle. Oh, you want to feel the burn? You can feel the burn. Well, Slugbus is also going to take damage, too, from the uh, Sandstorm, isn't it? That's a pain in the butt. Take out this coughing. Slugma should be able to do it no problem with a flamethrower. cut right now. Okay, we get faked out for a damage. Maybe skip a turn.
Nice to know that it knows detect. We probably shouldn't be using dig then. Man, that damage because Lodestone's got no special defense. See what we got here. Lord. <gasps> we toxic it? Is it a mist? Okay. I mean that means we can't lower its stats any. Drop a couple double teams. One damage. Oh, it did two that time. Excellent. Now let's start the rollout. There goes the uh, toxic. We should take it out with a couple rollouts though. That'll just get our rollout power up for her subsequent Pokemon. A Lombre next. Gonna use Swift on us. It's a tier four. Excellent. I think we just let. Oh, Shuffles are gonna rest. Absolutely, in place of safeguard. 
Our wall is complete. Completely destroyed our roll out there. Because of the fake out. We had a tier 5 rollout coming. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, I don't have any water down here. We just let Shuckle roll, go out for the rollout here. We got the Toxic on it as well. Let's see how long it takes. We should just sit. Since the rollout's going, the game will run itself. He may go down this turn. Maybe not. I don't think the Toxic will do that much. What a boss, Shuckle. Alright. Uh da 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 Swap up. Come on. Around there. We'll just walk around it. You gotta fight it. C dot. Well, first off, let's get rid of the rain. Not use growth. I don't know if these things learn any grass attacks, though. I mean, I, they should, but I don't know if it's gonna have any. It might know, like, bide. Usually seem to be what they use. He's growth and again. I'd like it to hit me. Swift. Do like one damage. <laughs> Onyx has got a bajillion HP. Increases our rage though. That's what's important. Synthesis. Well, we are in a sandstorm now. You just gonna spam synthesis. At least there's no rain though anymore. That full restore, really. Alright. And he knows hardened, so he his only damaging move is swift. So I'm just going to speed this up until he goes down. With a level 28 Zeno to have a full restore? That's, I mean, it's a good question. He's got three Pokemon, though. It's our final rage. We had to use all those other rages on that C-Dot. 
That's gonna hurt, though. There's a level up on Lodestone. Slam! What are we waiting for, move-wise? Iron Tail, that's what it is. Okay. Let's swap up uh, nose pass. Are you excited for our evolution, Christian Abon? It's good to see you, by the way, today. Nugget, nice. Oh, we're out of the rain. When to buy? What a battle. Yeah, I do. Was lurking during Black Flag as you were getting the kids ready to school. Gotcha. Sir Skits. We're getting close to being done with, like, side stuff, which is really exciting on there. Um, our ship is almost fully upgraded. We're almost done with, like, you know, locations. And uh, we'll, what I think, whenever we play it again on Wednesday, we'll finish out our dive spots. Um, and we will uh, start working on the naval missions that we have left. And then I think after we get done with that, hopefully we'll have the Jackdaw completely upgraded by that point. And then we take on the legendary ships. Good level up, Nose Pass. Just trying to learn rest as well. I think we're actually happy with your move set, though, Nose Pass. As good as rest is. Yeah, there's the four legendary ship fights that you get to do. And I, I remember each one of them, and they're going to be interesting. So, the one in the upper corner has he's like the super ramming ship he he tries to like barrel towards you and just does a ton of damage with his ram um the one in this corner over here uh is the the like the twin ships it's two ship of the lines that like work together and um they they always try to like flank you one on each side and just unload fire shot into you they're pretty i think they're the hardest one that's the hardest uh legendary fight though and then um the two on the bottom they uh one of them if i remember correctly it's kind of like a ghost ship per se um i don't remember what its gimmick is except that maybe uh Like, you know, it had, like, really good mortars and stuff. I remember one of them on the bottom of the map is completely surrounded in armor, except for the back of its ship. Um, so you have to, like, you really place your shots, like, in the back. Like, that's its whole thing.
Sorry, just a second. I was checking something. This says there's a rare candy down here. I always look for rare candies just because it saves us from having to do more leveling at the end of the game. There it is. Oh yes, absolutely. They improved it so much in Black Flag compared to Assassin's Creed 3. It, it, it was a huge improvement between the two games. So I very much so like the uh, Shep Battles and um, Black Flag more than Assassin's Creed 3. You didn't like the ship battles much in Assassin's Creed 3. I, they were kind of like a nuisance for those that didn't like him. But, I mean, it's the whole gimmick in Black Flag. Um, and they really did well with it. I haven't, well, I haven't played anything past Unity, so I wouldn't know about Odyssey. Andrew. I think the kids at school thanks yeah I, watch the VOD later for the evolution we're actually gonna be working on that next so I hope you're excited for it damage on that flamethrower. Speaking of evolution, let's get working on it. Everybody's at 37. We get a new route here. Bug Maniac and a Ghost Chick. Chuckle laughs at your critical hit side beam. Wow, faster than the dust dot or the dust skull. Surprising.
glad the stunt spore missed. We'll just take out the beauty fly now. Now he's got two ghosts to take out. I like its different colored eyes on the Shepherd. Oh, it's so fast. Flamethrower! Got the burn on it though before it changed type, which is pretty funny. I think we'll actually get the level up from this fight and we get our evolution. It's pretty awesome. Viper. It's the glare. Lame. Well, that's gonna hurt. At least we got the knockout with Lodestone. First and only evolution of the playthrough. Huzzah! Huge boost in stats. Over 100 defense now. 81 on the special attack. 96 on special defense. Way to go, Idaho. I'd like to keep using it. We're going to heal. Please forget that the berries have a check tag thing. Moving out to Mount Pyre. Okay. Try to get into another fight before I read. Zinc is nice. It's 
special defense stat. Won't have any effect on Macargo. Shuckle can take it though. All right, so let's read about Macargo. Macargo, medium fast leveling rate, is a limbless gastropod mollusk Pokemon consisting of almost entirely bright red magma. Its oval eyes are large and yellow with small pupils and extend upward from its head. Uh, we're going to rock throw spin down. We're going to toxic side. Um, it has a bulbous snout and a wide mouth with two drops of magma dangling from each side of its upper jaw. Macargo's back is protected by a gray spherical shell composed of hardened but brittle magma, uh, forming irregular lumps and plates. A streak of fire leaks from the side of its shell, uh, and Macargo's lower body temperature... Uh, or, sorry, Macargo's lower body is amorphous and covered in bubbles of magma. Slacking's in a loaf around, so we're not going to worry about it this turn. Macargo's internal body temperature can reach over 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 10,000 degrees Celsius, causing it to evaporate water on contact. Flames circulate through its body, occasionally spouting through cracks in its shell. Uh, while its shell is brittle enough to be shattered with a slight touch, um, Macargo can reform its body by dipping itself in magma. Oh, slacking's faster than us? Well, there goes Lodestone. No, no, never mind. It doesn't. Uh, it can be found in mountainous regions and has been living in volcano craters for tens of thousands of years. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for uh, Macargo. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, Ruby says Macargo shell is actually its skin that is hardened as a result of cooling. Its shell is very brittle and fragile. Just touching it causes the shell to crumble apart. And we're going to heal Lodestone. Uh, this Pokemon returns to its original size by dipping itself in magma. Sapphire says Macargo's body temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Water is vaporized on contact. If this Pokemon is caught in the rain, raindrops instantly turn to steam, coating the area in a thick fog. Emerald says the shell on its back is made of hardened magma. Tens of thousands of years spent living in volcanic craters have turned back Macargo's body into magma. Um, we're going to swap... Nose pass and red rock up for this next one. Um, Fire Red says its brittle shell occasionally spouts intense flames that circulate throughout its body. Leaf Green says the shell on its back is just skin that is cooled and hardened. It easily, uh, it breaks easily with a slight touch. And that is our information on Macargo. So let's see here. I think Makuhita is our biggest worry here. Good damage. Now I think both of these trainers have six Pokemon. So it's going to take us a little bit to get through this fight. But we're going to get a ton of uh, effort value points. Tropius. Excellent. Oh, I guess they only have three. So I guess if you fight them one on one, they have six Pokemon. Well, it actually would have been more. It would have been better for us to fight them one on one then, rather than as a double battle. Would have got more experience, but it's all right. All right. 
I didn't think uh, Ancient Power was a physical, like, hit it, with, you know, attack. Thought I threw a rock at it. But I guess it doesn't. Come on. Swap Shuckle back up. Carbos gives us speed. And there's only one Pokemon that we care about potentially even having speed. Which is Onyx, so we'll give it to Onyx. missed Pikachu and it used quick attack and it missed that too haha Another Minetric. Grazing gets a tax stat, which doesn't matter because Lodestone's got five bajillion defense. I almost got it. And we get paralyzed. And it's got a hyper potion. Good critical hit, though. We got the level up, so that's nice. Shift tree. We'll go over the shuckle. The shuckster. Toxic. And then we'll swap over to rollout and see what happens. Single damage, I bet you. Two damage. Whoa. Alright, we'll go down next turn for sure. those defenses. It's almost over 200 on both of them. Uh, 
try to defeat me. Let's see what you can do. Causes an uproar. Solid damage. Bunch of Team Aqua people here. Here's Scott. do anything else here yet we're going to run over this way and head down to Mount Pyre where Team Aqua went Super Repel. And before we go there, we have some trainers we can fight on, fight here. We do not have any grass Pokemon, I'm sorry. Lots of cut stuff here though. A skull and a Zangoose. It's quite a combo. Um, what am I worried about here? Am I really anything?
just take out the survivor. I don't want to waste another rock attack, so we'll just sunny day and then we'll thunderbolt it. here. There's no way there's anything up here but just grass. Pelipper. Those passes are going to take it on Pelippers. Good deal. Let's send out our new Macargo on this uh, Roselia. Another trainer here. Uh, we do have one over here. Shwello. Wing attack, not a good choice. Almost got it with a single rock throw. We'll take it out now, though. So, good deal. Whale bar coming out, so we'll swap over to Nose Pass. Uh... 
out. Oh, eat a citrus berry, that's nice. The water bowls. Shift tree coming out of next. All right, we'll swap over to Macargo. Oh, he's got different types of Pokemon. We don't usually fight these trainers. Got him. We're going to end our episode here, as I do have a meeting coming up. We do hope you all enjoy the Pokemon playthrough today. We'll be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. So, until then, we'll see you next time.